G'day all and welcome back to Nat Snackers Yard. Um, this will be a few little vids, uh, probably tagged together to make one uh, normal size one throughout the week of trying to sort out some of this bodywork on this bad boy on the little Hartford. Um, so watch, bits that I'm not going to strip are over the back. Um, I'm just going to rub down and paint. Obviously it doesn't need it. I don't like stripping plastic but that's got a lot of stickers underneath and you're dealing with interestingly the Alford Bros Alford Bros um, that was previously um, yeah the same as I had on the diversion the Alford Brothers I don't know if it's a big family firm whatever anyway so they're staying as they are just just need a bit of rubbing down um, the rear mud guard that's all the black off it it was chrome once um, Chinese chrome so it just doesn't last um, so it has been painted over it has had a slight rub down but you know that's that's nowhere enough rubbing down to uh, uh, get anything to particularly stick it's way too glossy still so that's gonna have to have a uh, bloody good sand um, to get that so that that's paintable again but that's fine the tank look at this I mean, bearing in mind this has got um, a load of uh, rust converter on there as well, but I, the paint on there was really thick actually, I'm quite sure what it was made of, um, thermonuclear I think, but under all of this there's a load of metal welding, so it's been metal filled, which is a new one on me, um, but hey, it's going to get filled in anyway, so uh, rather than give that a complete rub down and try and do all the bits at once, what I think I'm going to do is just get rid of the, what's left of the uh, rust converter. Now I've put that on there and just chuck some filler over the top and just let that cure off uh, over probably a day before I give it a rub down. So I'm going to do the big patch there first before I start doing the various smaller dings rather than try and do it in a one right? Let's get filling. Right, so my filling is rubbish, it always has been, probably always will be, but I've got a nice thick shapeable mass there and I'm just gonna, like I say, let that dry for probably a day, frankly. It's probably gonna need it because it is quite thick. Um, over on the seat, I'm starting to look at options, so I don't think I am gonna put a dome, I can't find one, not, not that wide. Um, and I need to do something with that, it really lets it down. So what I'm thinking is whip the cover off, repair it, i.e. so, 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 but then that's gonna look a bit tossed. So what I could do is, while it's off, sew a badge over it, something like that. Got a couple of those from kids' hats at some point. What I do quite like though is Angry Birds, uh, both personally and on this bike, I think. You know, something like that, hang on. Let's try it like that. There you go, that's a bit better. Something like that. Your bomb on one side, and bear in mind I'm going for red paintwork. Maybe red on that side. Just to just to give it something. I just want to get rid of that and I don't just want to stick tape over it. I did think about unpicking it and putting a bit different colour material. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, my sewing's okay, but it's not that good. So I think what I'll do is just whip the cover off. Sew those bits together to get the shape right and to hold it. And then once that's in place, stick a, a something over the top. Cool. Right, that'll do for now. And later that evening, and then a slight change of plan. Um, I've just sewn it up with some dodgy sewing, but it works. Um, I tried to get the, the uh, Angry Birds on there, but because they're supposedly uh, iron arm transfers, there's a thick bit of plastic on the back that I can get a needle through, so that's fine. That's I'm happy with that. Um, I didn't think it was a particularly good idea at the best of times, but um, that's as neat as I can go, and frankly, that'll do. Um, right, that's me for this evening. Um, 
Yeah, that's getting there and I'll leave that queue in. Cool. Okay, so a bit of a painting update. That is the uh, exhaust hung up the back with, uh, what did I get? High temperature paint uh, on there. So that's drying nicely. I've got the mudguard with its black on drying up there. Uh, that's the exhaust piece. Uh, and the black on those as well and black on the side piece I had one big splat on there which is really irritating but what can you do um, the rear mug guard the exhaust guard and the stems from um, the seat right so that lot is all drying leave that for a while these bits are going to have uh, the red and the effect on it. I haven't quite worked out pinstripe and all that sort of stuff yet, but um, I imagine I'm just going to go nice and simple down the middle uh, and see how it goes. But I'm going to let that black dry first. Now it looks glossy. It is glossy. It's the um, uh, it's the good stuff I've got because it is good, uh, and I've not done it before actually. So it's cam brush. It's not that one. It's black rather than. Oh, there you go because um, I had it because it was cheap uh, and it's just brilliant stuff now I've not done my paint effect over um, a gloss paint before and um, we'll see how it works out uh, it's the same brand it's all cam brush so I shouldn't get a reaction between them but we'll see how it goes and there we go that's the exhaust uh, back on and the exhaust cover back on looking pretty good actually <laughs> the real shame is that it shows up every bit that you haven't done really badly but I'll do something with that um, so that's the back back on uh, freshly painted not particularly great but actually 98% of it's covered up um, but yeah that will get some dappling and some red on it and probably a pinstripe in I've chucked the tank back up there just to get it out of the way more than anything else um, and to make an admission um, this is going to take me forever because it is really, really shagged. Um, and I'm not convinced the rust underneath isn't going to come up. And the fact that it gets crap in the tank and the previous owner has said his old man had cleaned that out in the um, in the tap uh, had me concerned. I had a quick look last night and I can get a brand new one for about 35 quid. So I've ordered one. Um, it's going to take me more than 35 quid in kit, let alone time to get that up to a suitable level so and this one comes with a new tap which is a bit of a bonus so that's here by middle of next week uh, and it's black so all i need to do is chuck a bit more black on it and then do the dappling and then crack on and uh, life is good uh, mudguard's hanging up there curing looks pretty good all looks pretty good um yeah and moving on and finally the boys are back in town so that is the phaser and the xenon fresh MOTs no advisories on either which is a brilliant uh, so they are good to go this is going to get a clean up first a bit of a douche and we'll go straight on the market um, don't know what for what do you reckon people the phaser i've got some wiring to tidy up around the front um they very kindly sorted out the brake for me um and topped it up so i don't have to drill those out which is really handy um the uh bar mirrors are a, a casualty of the garage i'm assuming they took them off because they took up too much space but um but yes yeah, so i need to tighten them up a bit of wire tidying up i'm still having an iron about whether or not to paint the uh the uh, rear hugger sorry just stick that velcro on because that's bugging me there you go um yeah still an arm and arm to paint it my biggest arm and R though is whether or not i keep it frankly um love that bike and i've got a strange feeling that if i sell it on i'll regret it but actually more importantly um i just don't know its value i haven't got a clue um by all accounts at the garage there was a it's had a paparazzi, it's been paparazzi at the garage. Um, they were saying how many people have taken photos of it and stood next to it. Um, I think it's probably now going to appear on their website. <laughs> um, and one of the mechanics was offering to buy it when I went to pick it up. 
but um, I don't know yet. I do not know. Um, and if I do keep it, there's various other bits and pieces that I'll probably want to do to it. But I don't know. I think the teller is going to be, I need to service this. Um, I need to service Dave. He's, yeah, it certainly needs a car clean, if nothing else. And it probably at some point needs rejetting for that exhaust. I think what I'll do is uh, take Dave off the road while I work on him. Ride um, Rat Boy for a little while and see what happens. If I fall in love with it, I'll keep it. Um, it's going to take a lot to beat that because I love that bike, but we'll see. We'll see. Right, that'll do me for now and for the uh, midweek update. Um, the uh, light summer evenings are a bonus because it means I can actually get stuff done uh, throughout the week. Uh, obviously, working throughout the day and then pissing around with bikes in the evening. But, you know, the weather and frankly the patience of the good lady is only going to last so long. So we'll see how we go. But that is one rammed garage again, which is kind of nice to see. Right, cheers all. Catch you later. Thank <laughs> you.